It's a musical rooted in Las Vegas. It's heading to the Big White Way. Uh, it was written by local Ka music director Richard Oberracker, and here to tell us more about it is more contributor Johnny Katz. Johnny, this is exciting news. Yeah, this is a very rare thing that's happening. Yeah. In fact, this never happens. This very rare. And it's, I don't think this has ever happened where a musical conceived in Las Vegas, yes. written and conceived in Las Vegas, a full scale musical, has uh, been showcased here, workshopped here, and gone to Broadway. To Broadway. Proper Broadway. Without I, like being here first or at least it, it, at all. Its premiere was. Um, it just ended in oh, okay. Paper Mill Theater, oh. uh, Paper Mill Playhouse in Milburn, New Jersey. Wow. Now, the history about, I would say, three years ago, Richard Oberacker, who is the musical director mentioned, and his writing partner, Robert Taylor, uh -huh. uh, who's uh, mostly known for having been on tour uh, with The Lion King. He's a, he's a violinist and a very good uh, uh, composer himself. Right. They started showcasing uh, what was called then just bandstand around town. Talking Art Square Theater. We're looking at the composer show. Started, you know, rolling some songs that were tied to this musical, and they are so they're great I songs, bet. great songs. So they they kept putting this together, putting this together, and uh, assembling the show, re-editing it, and uh, finally booked it at uh, Paper Mill for about a I think it was about a six-week run back there in New Jersey, and it got great reviews okay. and was very well received. And they have a group of investors now who have announced for the 2016-2017 Broadway season it will be in a theater on Broadway. They haven't announced yet where it'll be, and they're still pro in negotiations with where it'll be. But that has been announced. It is going to happen now. This this is about the, the story centers on a group of military veterans, or servicemen who are just coming out of World War II. It's okay. 1945, so all the music is oh, swing I like music, that. yeah, big swing music. And Oberacker especially is such a good writer. He's such a great. He had, he brought Ace to um, UNLV not long ago. Another great musical it has a huge future. That's another okay. story. And these guys come out of the war and they they form a, a band that enters a contest in uh, Cleveland to end the top prize through this whole competition is a, is a movie with MGM, then the big movie company in New York. Oh. They win the regional contest, this band of servicemen, Right. but it's not easy because once they win, they figure out they have to pay their own way. They have what is now known as post-traumatic stress disorder, right. which in World War II didn't, wasn't really know. dealt with. That's dealt with in this musical. Oh. And the music soars and the acting is fantastic. And we have, um, not only with uh, Richard, who's got, you know, cert connections, and Robert uh, of Las Vegas, but we have Joey Perro, who's a very great trumpet player okay and he got cast in this show and he has a speaking role in it and he's part of the cast he's never done any real acting until okay he's, now this guy who's a musician is gonna be on Broadway his first gig his first there acting gig is gonna be and on you Broadway have people who spend a long time wow. trying to get to Broadway and never have this happen so that's a very big deal it's an important mark for our uh, artistic community and you know, culture in Las Vegas you know we don't use the word bandstand anymore like we used to, like you know there's American bandstand and now right. the bandstand yeah. and so maybe this is you know this is uh the bandstand is a thing it used to be a show TV right. show and that was another thing we used to call it just bandstand and uh -huh. then I started seeing some coverage of it as the bandstand and I talked to Richard Obrocker about this I and mean, what's the what's the the right all about and he said that uh, the bandstand tended to remind people of American bandstand gotcha. the bandstand is not only a physical thing but it's a destination it's a thing you want to reach it's a, more of an ethereal term so that's the reason by okay. It's a very small change, but it is, yeah, it's because awesome. of American Bandstand that they, they, in large part, they made the change yeah. in the name. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Well, it was that big of a show, so uh, good. So I guess um, we'll just you read, read the article. Yeah, and, uh, the, okay. this is in the Cats Report. I have an interview with, okay. uh, with Richard. I've written, been following this all the way through. It's got incredible buzz, and, um, okay. you know, it's great for places like Art Square Theater, especially my friends down there who workshopped this in the first place yeah. in front of maybe 80 people, well, and all of a sudden it's becoming this big thing. And that's, the, that's where it's rooted, right? Congrats. In the middle of the arts all the locals in Las here Vegas. that have made it uh, to the Great White Way, yep. Broadway in New York. All right, thanks, Johnny. Appreciate it. Over to the ladies. Yeah. Broadway with <laughs> jazz hands.